everyone and welcome to one class. My name is Jeff Kraus. I have a PhD in chemistry and today I'm going to run through a few undergraduate high school level uh, chemistry questions. So here's our first one. Uh, how do you calculate the ionization en energy of an element? Um, so for Uh, so for ionization energy, um, okay, I had some technical difficulties here. What is happening with this? Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we're ready to go here now. So uh, back to the question, how do you calculate the ionization energy of an element? Um, so in a simplistic picture, uh, using say the Bohr model of an, of an atom, right, we have the nucleus and we have electrons orbiting the nucleus which <laughs> this isn't perfectly circular, but um, and there could be other electrons, but um, our ionization energy is taking that electron from its orbital radius out to infinity. So removing the electron completely from, from the atom. Okay, so um, if we look, um, at least again from a simplistic picture, our energy um, should be uh, electrostatic, right? So if we consider our electrostatic energy, to infinity this guy should go to zero right so e of infinity is r infinity which is just zero from again from this simplistic energy which is not quite the energy of the atom but one of the nice things is we can choose our energy to be zero where we like and so our zero will be at infinity and it's roughly I would say guided by by this equation, or you can remember that it's going to be zero at infinity from, from this electrostatic equation. So um, our ionization energy is just the change in energy, so the energy at infinity minus the energy for the state in question, so whatever the orbital energy would be. 
Uh, but if that's zero, then it's just minus the energy of our orbital. And so that's kind of the nice thing is that our ionization energy is just negative the energy of the orbital. Um, as a simple example, uh, for the H atom, um, the energies for our orbitals are given by minus r over n squared, where n is our principal quantum number. And so um, the ionization energy for a 1s state, where uh, the 1 would be our principal quantum number, so that's just minus r over 1 squared, where r here is the Rydberg constant, which is about 13.6 eV. So that's minus 13.6 eV. Or <laughs> our ionization energy is minus that energy, which would be positive, so it would be 13.6 eV. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good description for ionization energy. Um, so it's if we check the written solution, um, so you can have an ionization energy from any orbital, but uh, it would typically be the ground electronic state. Um, can be computed using Rydberg's equation, especially for a hydrogen atom. Um, and so this would be. Good.